Hey guys, welcome back to another Whiskey and White Tells YouTube video. Today we have for you something fun and interactive. But first, if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. If you're not, thank you for your continued support. As always, make sure you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Stop by whiskeyandwhitetails.com to check out our latest products, our cocktail smoking kit, our grunt tube, turkey call, and lots of other handmade whiskey barrel stave products. Make sure to use code podcast at checkout to get 20% off. And speaking of podcasts, go check out the Whiskey and Whitetails podcast and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Now, let's get into this video. All right, so today we're going to talk about our Whiskey and Whitetails grunt tube. Now, our grunt tube is not like a lot of your mass-produced, injection-molded, corporately produced and distributed grunt tubes. It is handmade from whiskey barrels. Each one is unique. And, you know, aside from sounding pretty good and looking awesome, you know, it's a great conversation piece and it just looks cool. So it's a great piece of kit to add to your hunting backpack or jacket, however you carry your calls. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about three configurations that we like to use with this call for various parts of the season. Now, the first one is going to actually be for the early season. In order to set up these calls or this call, because these things aren't mass produced and made from cheap material to be mass distributed, you have to do a little manual adjustment to change the tone of the call. So. In order to do that, you simply adjust where this O-ring sits on the actual reed assembly. Uh, you do that simply by grabbing the two pieces and removing the reed assembly from the barrel of the call. Now for this first tone that we like to use, you're gonna slide the O-ring all the way to the very front notch here on the assembly closest to the tip. What that's gonna do along with having the flex tube retracted all the way up is provide a nice higher pitch tone that simulates a doe bleat. Now we like to use this very early in season before deers are really responding too much to uh, grunts, particularly bucks. Whitetail deer are social animals. And so if you can imitate a call of maybe a lost doe or just, I'm sorry, a lost fawn or a, a doe that has been separated from the group and is trying to contact them, you can a lot of times bring in deer that are just curious as to what's going on so with that setup uh, this is the tone and the noise you'll get and you can adjust the length of the flex tube how long the call is uh, and the inflection to get the 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 tone and the the sound that you're looking for but that's the first of the main three configurations we like on this call uh, particularly for the early season next is a buck in rut we use this a lot obviously during the rut I'm not a fan of calling deer or bucks during the rut. I don't call a lot to begin with, but especially during the rut. The only time I will call is if I'm trying to pull a buck off of an active doe or get a buck to come in my direction that is obviously moving away from me, but that I can see. I don't blind call during the rut or do anything like that. And so what I have with the call for this setup is I have the O-ring moved to the very back notch closest to the flex tube and I will extend the flex tube all the way out to provide a deeper, more guttural uh, grunt from the grunt tube. And you can adjust the inflection and adjust the, the actual flex tube to you know, experiment with the tone or a tone that you like. But that is the configuration that we would generally use during the rut. Again, it's not something that I'll use a lot, um, only in the instances I mentioned previously, but it is a great great sound uh, and I've I've used that kind of sound uh, coupled with a like an old-fashioned uh, Primos bleak can you turn over uh, using a, a grunt like that in conjunction with an you know a handheld call uh, I've been able to actually pull bucks off of and separate bucks from from does well, while they were actively chasing so you know bucks this time of year are out of their mind they are worse than a college kid at a penny liquor 
uh, night at a local club. They make dumb decisions. They, they're out of their mind with, with what they're doing and they're not thinking straight. So sometimes all it takes is a little, a little grunt or to give the impression that there's a deer somewhere else getting some action to pull that buck off of a, a doe that they're chasing. So next we'll move on to the call and the configuration that we like to use in the late season. So for late season, it's similar to how we approach calling in the early season. But instead of using a, uh, a doe bleat, which you can absolutely still use during this time of year, we also like to work in uh, a younger buck grunt. Uh, this may be bucks that are still a little fired up and are looking late in the season to find some does that have come into estrus late. So they may be wondering what's going on. And uh, like I said earlier, deer are just generally curious and social creatures. So just an additional grunt Not as deep, uh, not as aggressive sounding as buck and rut, but it still provides the sound of a deer, which can help draw in curious bucks that are still cruising around. Uh, and it may also bring in does who are just looking for some company. Maybe they're by themselves. So it's a great opportunity to use a different sound, maybe along with a doe bleat to help bring in animals, maybe across a food plot or to a food plot if they're kind of circling around and seem to not want to actually commit to coming in uh, it can be a great tool to have in your in your backpack so those are the three configurations that we use with our deer grunt tube you can get this grunt tube at our store whiskeyandwhitetails.com code podcast to get 20 percent off and these are great they are like i said one of a kind handmade and i think they sound awesome and they look good lightweight easy to carry so go check it out give us uh give us a shout if you have any questions and if you have one, you've been using it, let us know what you think. Give us a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, like, hit us up on social media, and hit that notification bell. As we say all the time, this helps us know what you're liking, what kind of content you're enjoying, and it helps us get that stuff in front of more people. So as always, be safe with whatever you're hunting, whether it's whiskey or whitetails, and we'll see you next time. Yeah,